Hi everybody, it's Callum Huggin here. I'm out in my garden and about an hour ago, the lovely Sam McShane from Artistic Planning gave me a call inviting me to deliver this Friday's RCS Presents concert. I'm absolutely thrilled to be doing it. But to give me a little bit of time to come up with the programme, I thought it'd be quite interesting for those of you who don't know me to see, as a percussionist, where I practice when I'm at home. So I'm going to show you my little studio. So as we come into my studio, on the right hand side we have my music library. Just as you enter I have my little workstation, I can do my emails and mark up all my music and then over on the left I have my beautiful Yamaha marimba. I'm so lucky to be part of the Yamaha family as one of their artists and Hopefully during the concert you get to hear how beautiful my instrument is. And finally we have the little comfy corner, which I don't believe any studio should be without. A little space to nap. Bach's Prelude in C from his Unaccompanied Cello Suites has to be one of my favourite pieces to play. Growing up, for those of you who don't know me, I have an identical twin brother who is a cellist. My sound has always been a lot more immediate in its quality, whereas I'm sure many people who've grown up with brothers and sisters learning stringed instruments, the sound perhaps wasn't quite where my brother's is today. So I'm very thankful what a beautiful cellist he is. He's inspired this choice. Also, I always find it quite interesting when percussionists and instrumentalists of modern day instruments are critiqued almost for their authenticity of performance, especially when it comes to Bach. And I'd just like to say to so many musicians out there of these modern instruments like percussion, this is my offering and I'm sure Bach, if the instrument had been in, around during his time, would have written something very similar.
Carry It Ass by Michael Burrett is a beautiful piece of music and I think it's really relevant during this time of lockdown. I was lucky enough in 2012 or 13 to tour with Michael on one of his UK visits and needless to say I learned an awful lot from not only touring with the composer but also as he's such a phenomenal musician. Caritas for me is Latin for the for charity and so solemn I like to think of this piece as Maybe time of reflection, which I'm sure we're all going through just now. We've all got a little bit too much time on our hands. And then into their third movement, Majestic, the triumphs of charity, the joyous repercussions of our actions and charity.
Variations on Dylan's Lachrymae Pavan was composed by the sensational Keiko Abbey. She is, to percussionists, the mother of the marimba. As I said before, I'm a Yamaha artist and Keiko developed the modern day instrument with Yamaha years and years and years ago. And I've been lucky enough to visit two masterclasses in the UK where Keiko was presenting and I have to say she is the most spiritual person I've ever been around. Her variation on Dylan's Pavan. The original Pavan comes from Flow Thy Tears and Keiko has taken it and developed it into several variations and for me I feel it's utterly authentic to the Renaissance period of John Dylan and the loop music that he wrote. <laughs>
Dr. Gradis Ad Pranasam by Debussy has to be one of the pieces that inspired me to really focus my playing towards the marimba. I heard one of my teachers, Jasmine Kohlberg, perform this piece many, many moons ago, and I was utterly inspired not only by her performance, but the way Debussy composes. And so the colours of the marimba, I think, are really brought out in this arrangement of Debussy and I love the story of Mount Parnassus, Greek mythology and Apollo. My encore for you is Nancy by Emmanuel Sejourné. Sejourné writes loads for percussion and so needless to say Nancy, although may seem quite simplistic in its performance I hope, is actually technically quite a demanding piece to be able to make the audience feel relaxed when they're listening. I first heard this piece in 2009 during one of the world competitions, I think it was in Paris, and I heard Marta Klimatsara, Polish percussionist, perform this and I was blown away by how nice the melodic lines are and also how drawn in I was by her performance. 
So I hope you've enjoyed this concert and thank you so much to the RCS for letting me be part of RCS Presents. Thank you.